Warwickshire Police have painted a huge target on their backs after publishing a public perception survey asking people who have been allegedly caught breaking lockdown to give reviews on the way they were handled. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Warwickshire Police published a survey after being accused of being heavy handed with their powers. An example of which was an incident from two weeks ago when a couple sitting in isolation in their vehicle were caught and fined for watching TOWIE on their mobile phone. Now, for those of you who don't know what TOWIE is, it's a special needs programme full of mindless high school dropouts, sluts, manscaping, bleach bumholes and gays. And that's not the same part of Essex I come from, by the way. After being criticised for fining people for marginal reasons, the force is asking the public, including those fined for breaching the rules, to rate them. In the survey, which the force say will take five to ten minutes to complete, people are asked to rate how good or bad a job the police are doing during the pandemic. The survey then asks people who have been fined how satisfied or dissatisfied are you with the outcome of this contact with the police? <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, I can see this going really, really well for them. In fact, I hope the station has more than one safe space for police constables, as I can just imagine them all clambering over themselves to get into it. Respondents are then asked, thinking about the attitude and manner of the officer or member of police staff, who you had contact with. Are you satisfied or dissatisfied? People are also told to state whether they fully support the force's approach to dealing with the rule breakers or whether officers are being too heavy handed. After taking the survey, people are asked to provide their postcode for the purpose of analysis only. Well, I've got to say, if I got through that survey, even if it was 15 minutes of my life, and then I was asked by the Plod Starpo for my postcode, I'll simply close the web page. I'm never willingly giving any information to police. An IT worker, John Ward of Warwick, said, I think the police around here are actually doing a reasonable job enforcing the rules, better than other forces I've read about. I was quite taken aback by the survey they've published. However, it looks like they're creeping up to people who have been fined. What the hell do they expect someone who has been fined to say? Yes, I'm very satisfied with being handed a fixed penalty notice. Thank you very much. It's bonkers. Chief Superintendent Ben Smith said the last year has been a particularly challenging time for policing and Warwickshire Police is no exception. Our officers continue to try to tackle crime while also adapting to the evolving situation that the COVID-19 pandemic has presented. Interpreting and enforcing quickly changing legislation to help minimise the spread of the virus and in turn protect lives. We have therefore tried to ensure we deliver a considered balanced and proportionate approach to the unprecedented scenarios that we have found ourselves faced with. We recognise that while we don't always get it right, I am proud to say that as a force we do appear to have so far successfully struck the balance between discretion, education and enforcement. That being said, we are really keen to receive feedback from our communities, which is why we have launched this survey, as we recognise the importance of understanding the views of the diverse communities we serve while providing a platform for people to make their voices heard during these challenging times and beyond. I would encourage people to take the time to complete this survey, whether that be online or via the telephone, if you are called, as the feedback you provide could make a real difference in terms of helping us to understand what we have done as a force that has worked and what areas could be improved. This is a real opportunity for the public to have their say and the honest feedback you provide Will significantly help to inform on our ongoing policing approach to the pandemic. Well, I'm sure I don't need to plant any images in your head over this. In fact, I'm sure you already have some relating to the plod's faces when reading some of the answers to their we need some sort of social acknowledgement that not everyone hates us. What's the betting they publish 20 of the very best comments and three of the worst in an attempt to make it seem that the public still love their jackboot approach to dealing with the public trying to live their lives. Big thank you to channel supporters one and all, especially these guys, your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and of course other officials.